It is just the beginning of West Texas wildfire season and state firefighters are predicting a very active fire season this year. According to the National Weather Service, about 4.5 inches of rain has fallen here in Midland in just the past week. And as you can tell, it has led to widespread flash flooding across not only roads, but also in homes and businesses too. The mosquitoes, I have to say, are the worst part of this weather, but we're actually expecting a chance for some more showers and thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow, unfortunately. Checking out what we're expecting for the rest of the night. Well, these thunderstorms will be moving off to the northeast, expecting that thunderstorm activity to continue as we head into those late nighttime hours in the early morning hours. Then tomorrow during the day, possibility for some thunderstorms. Widespread showers will be expected, mostly cloudy skies across the area, and that's going to be the case as we head into the next couple of days. Looking at the current radar, we're seeing a little thunderstorm start to pop up near Balmeray. As we continue into the morning hours, it's going to be a nice clear night, which means radiational cooling, which also means cool temperatures when you wake up in areas of blowing dust. And if you're traveling, be extra cautious because those winds could get up to about 80 miles an hour in those higher elevations. So it could be dangerous, especially with those higher profile vehicles. So this amount of rainfall is great news for the cotton industry. They're hoping it'll dry out by mid September, just in time for harvest season. This one storm near Balmeray moving off to the east northeast at about 10 miles per hour. We're seeing some gusty conditions, possibility for some nickel sized hail, severe thunderstorm watches in effect across the Permian Basin and of Lee County of southeastern New Mexico, expecting strong to severe storms as we continue through the next couple of hours. This is in effect until about 11 p.m. Our main concern here will be possibility for high gusty winds. Possibility for some large hail and flooding is not out of the question. So far this year, we've seen about 13 and a half inches of rainfall, which is awesome news because usually the normal annual total is around 13 and a half inches. That's when we're going to start to see that activity spark up once again after 1 p.m. is when we're looking at for that time frame. So here's where the cold front's located right now, and we're going to see it move on down to the southeast as we work our way into Tuesday, bringing that cooler air back into the forecast. Gonna feel great outside, and that's helped with the drought situation across West Texas. This is actually going to be updated tomorrow, so we're likely to see further improvements. Oh, big changes on the way. Get it. Excited. It's a hot day today, but it's not going to be here for long. We do have this flood advisory in effect until about 645 later tonight. So please keep that in mind if you're headed out and about. We also have another flood advisory in effect. It is National Dog Day. So take a look at Purdy and Pingo. They're available for adoption at the Midland Humane Coalition. Go and check them out. Well, it's going to be a great morning to go to school. But if you look at the winds from the northeast, around 20 to 25 miles per hour, going to be a windy West Texas day on Tuesday. It is a warm day and it's National Dog Day, so hot dog. And guess what today is? Our peanut butter drive. I, I, I run it all the time. I like it because it gets all my little fuzz balls yeah, from my Poochie McPoocherson nice. from under the bed. Poochie McPoocherson. Yes. That would be nice. That's his nickname. <laughs> Mr. Poochie, Poochie McPoocherson, little fuzz fuzz. But as we work our way into next week, that tropical storm could have an impact on us. So right now we're looking to stay on the dry side. Well, talking here locally, we're actually going to be expecting some pretty nice weather across West Texas. We're talking about that triple digit heat today, but the forecast high for Tuesday, 80 degrees. That's a 20 degree difference. Going to feel really nice outdoors. What a beautiful day. Just a few clouds in the sky, but that's okay. Nothing to damper any plans. Because that is so cute. <laughs> Just start saying like uh, so adorable. Oh, Shane, yeah. how uh, cute is this? Please remember, turn around, don't drown. Reporting in Western Midland County, I'm meteorologist Lauren Bostwick. In Glasscock County, I'm meteorologist Lauren Bostwick. In the newsroom, I'm Lauren Bostwick. In the First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Lauren Bostwick. I'm Lauren Bostwick reporting in the parking lot. Come and see us with some more peanut butter. We haven't seen really much rain across the area in the past couple of days, but we're actually going to see that spark back up as we head into tomorrow, thanks to a cold front that'll be moving through the area. So what we're looking at so far in the Midland Odessa area around five and a half inches 
above what we usually see for this time of the year. That's some good news across the area because it definitely has helped with that drought situation. Updated Thursday and this is what we're currently checking out for the drought situation across West Texas. Really no drought across the Permian Basin and the lower Trans-Pecos region. Looking out to the west a little further, we are still seeing some drought situation. A severe drought in the Marfa Plateau. It was an exceptional drought, so that rainfall that we've seen recently really helped out across the area. That exceptional drought still lingering around in Eddy County of southeastern New Mexico, just the very western portion of it, but it's looking a lot better than what it looked like at the beginning of this year, which is great news across West Texas and southeastern New Mexico. Current relative humidity levels, it's a little bit humid outside. Seeing that moisture from the Gulf across West Texas, mainly for the eastern portion of the area, but very humid, and we're gonna likely see that humidity stay in the forecast as we continue into Sunday and into Monday. And possibility for some showers and thunderstorms to spark up as we head into the afternoon on Sunday. We do have that marginal risk in this dark green shaded region across the Permian Basin, Upper Trans-Pecos, southeastern New Mexico. This is where we'll be expecting possibility for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm to spark up, not out of the question. As we head into Monday, a couple of showers possible here and there, mainly in the early morning hours, but we're looking for all that activity to stay maybe in the mountains and further out to the west. Checking out the radar, not too much activity, and that's some good news because I don't know about you, but we've seen a lot of rain here in West Texas, so it's nice to have a little bit of a break. As we continue through the night, a couple of sprinkles here and there is possible in southeastern New Mexico. And when you wake up tomorrow morning around 7 a.m., a couple of sprinkles in the northeastern half of the Permian Basin and the lower Trans-Pecos region, not out of the question. But as we head into the afternoon, make sure you get all of your plans and activities activities, outdoor plans and activities done before the early evening rolls around because that's when we're going to start to see that thunderstorm activity ramp back up thanks to a cold front that will be pushing across the region, really sparking up those showers and thunderstorms. Again, we could be expecting a strong to severe storm, so we will be keeping you updated. Make sure you download that CBSM First Alert weather app and we will be keeping you updated as these storms progress. But it will stay pretty humid on Monday, about a 10% chance of rain that ridge will start to build back into the forecast and that's when we're going to be seeing those temperatures back to what we usually see this time of the year and sunny skies on Tuesday and Wednesday.